negotiations, he is going to still have a foundation of oh, oh, honoring the Constitution because he's been consistent with that. And I think if we as a people, if one of these guys up there or gal is going to be at that table, he to me is the one who has consistently been for the Constitution. So it's a shame that they're going to boot him out to the side of the debate. They put him way on the end of the wing so you can already see how the media they don't even want to focus on him at all. So, and, and more to that, uh, real quick, Biggs is. You know, I mean, I think he's one of the better guys up there, but I doubt he's going to get the nomination. Right. Quite honestly. Yeah, I mean, we already. But I think it's important as we go through the debates to look at what they're talking about. He brings something to the table that nobody else is bringing to things that we need to have a discussion about. I would suggest to people look at their websites, look at the issues that they choose to talk about, even if you don't want to take the time to read everything that they say about it. That will be a very eye-opening experience to you to see that because, of course, uh, Donald Trump has had the courage to directly attack uh, immigration head on. But Rand Paul has attacked the police state, the surveillance state, mm -hmm. the decline in the rule of law directly. Nobody else has done that. And as I pointed out, these, these candidates who say they're outsiders, they're just repeating the same talking points we've heard from the GOP for the last 30 years. Yeah, that's a perfect point. That's what I was going to say a second ago. If you want to find out about the candidates, go to their website. They're going to put out the important issues that they want to get across to you anyways. What's going on right now? This is what I'm getting on Twitter. A lot of people want to know why they can't hear the debate right now. If you want to find out the exact issues that these candidates are going to have, go to their websites. That's when they've had the time to sit down and write these out. Now it's a circus. It's WWE. This is for entertainment only. This debate is a backdrop so us at InfoWars can talk about real issues and get your mind thinking. And maybe you could talk to some other people about it. But yeah, if you really want to find out what these candidates are up to, go to their site. If you want to find out what Trump's talking about, it's one thing. It's immigration. Build a wall. If you want to find out what Lindsey Graham's doing, it's send 25,000 troops to Iraq and Syria. So, I mean, you can find out what they want. This is a backdrop so we can talk about the important issues that should be discussed because you know it's not happening right now on CNN. All this is is a dog and pony show. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's just a beauty pageant without the pretty girls. <laughs> pretty much. Any longer get now they're going to ask him about birthright citizenship, and I think this is a very interesting issue. And I'm glad that Donald Trump brought this up. Let's let's uh, tune into the debate here and hear what he has to say about this. Fiorina on birthright citizenship. Well, first of all, the the 14th Amendment says very very clearly to a lot of great legal scholars, not television scholars, but legal scholars, that it is wrong. It can be corrected with an act of Congress. Probably doesn't even need that. A woman gets pregnant. She's nine months, she walks across the border, she has the baby in the United States, and we take care of the baby for 85 years. I don't think so. And by the way, Mexico and almost every other country anywhere in the world doesn't have that. We're the only ones dumb enough, stupid enough to have it. And people, and by the way, this is not just with respect to Mexico, they're coming from Asia to have babies here, yes. and all of a sudden we have to take care of the babies for the life of the baby. The 14th Amendment, it reads properly, you can go and it's probably going to be have to check, go through a process of court, probably ends up at the Supreme Court. But there are a lot of great legal scholars that say that is not correct. And in my opinion, it makes absolutely no, we're the only, one of the only countries, we're going to take care of those babies for 70, 75, 80, 90 years. I don't think so. Ms. Fiorina, the vast He's majority absolutely of countries right on that. do not have He's birth absolutely rights. right on the constitutional right interpretation right of that. He didn't go into Why detail on it. But look, we have to understand. Let me say, we have when I went back and looked at the uh, Espionage Act of 1917, you got to understand one of the first people prosecuted under that. Wilson came after a guy who was a film producer because he made a film about the American Revolution, and he thought Wilson thought that this guy's film was too critical of the British, who were going to be our allies in the war that Wilson wanted to push us into. He sentenced this guy to 10 years and $5,000 fine in 1917. That was a lot of money. The Supreme Court said that the First Amendment didn't apply to movies. Do you understand that? In 1917, the Supreme Court said that movies did not have First Amendment protection. That was overturned by another opinion in 1952. The Supreme Court's opinions in 1917 and 1952 really didn't matter. We could read the First Amendment for ourselves. We understand what that is. We can read the 14th Amendment. We understand the context of what's there. We understand the qualifiers that were there. Donald Trump is absolutely right on this, and I'm glad that he's bringing up that issue. That's one of the things that's good that could come out of this. And beyond that, it reminds me of what you're saying, reminds me of what happened to Dinesh D'Souza, or even kind of what happened to Alex when he tried to put the Obama deception out, and they said, you know, it's racist, it's this and that. 
The movie mainly isn't even really about Obama. It has his name on the cover, but yes. it talks about all the issues that go on behind the scenes. Yes, and they censor that, yes. And meanwhile, yeah. what has happened? Nothing. The border remains insecure. The legal immigration system remains broken. Look, we know what it takes to secure a border. We've heard a lot of great ideas here. Money, manpower, Thank technology. You, they need to stop the incentives that Obama put in. Obama just you, off the cuff said we're going to we're going to let dreamers stay. We're going to not enforce immigration laws. We're going to extend to them educational benefits so we don't extend to our own citizens. Any of these guys, if they were going to be president, they could stop those executive orders from Obama tomorrow. They don't need to create an authoritarian police state at the border in order to stop this. They need to no, de-incentivize it. That's the problem. That's the problem I have with all these uh, uh, fencers. Because I saw a, a newscast <laughs> of one of the uh, local uh, affiliates down in South Texas, and one of this lady, this lady went on this guy's land, and she found a family that was just standing there. People had crossed the border, and she said it was like they were waiting on a school bus. They were just standing there waiting for the border patrol to come and pick them up because they wanted the border patrol to come and pick them up. So, so why what does Rand Paul say about birthright citizenship? Let's hear this. And they said that their children were citizens. There's never been a direct Supreme Court case on people who are here illegally. Yes, he's right about that. Whether or not their kids are citizens. That's so exactly right. It hasn't really been completely adjudicated. The 14th Amendment says that those who are here and under the jurisdiction, the original author of the, of the 14th Amendment said on the Senate floor that this was applying to slaves and did not specifically apply to others. Yes. Right, Senator Paul, thank you so much. Let's Absolutely right. Topic. We've received he got a it. lot of questions Nailed on it. social media about the economy. That Supreme Court decision, as he was pointing out, we were talking, that was about a Chinese family that was here legally. They had their child here. There was a Supreme Court decision about that. But that doesn't even apply to what they're talking about here with, uh, with uh, anchor babies. Doesn't even apply to that situation. But it, it's people who are subject to the jurisdiction. And we can look at the context of what was going on there, the comments that they made. We can read the text. We understand what it is. It's people who want to turn the Constitution into a living document and interpret it constantly. That's where the problem comes in. She's talking about Hewlett Packard. I know you were discussing oh, yeah. that earlier. Oh, he's going to nail her on this. Out of business and lost all of their jobs in the process. Despite those difficult times, we doubled the size of the company. We quadrupled its top line growth rate. That's why they drove her out as CEO. <laughs> and, and dropped the price 50 to 60 percent. Yeah, Donald's not buying it. He's going to nail her on this. Let's hear this. Thousand jobs went on to grow to 160,000 jobs, and now Hewlett Packard is almost 300,000 jobs. We went from lagging behind to leading in every product category and every market. Okay, she's segment. running down her resume here. Let's run down our resume. This is the 28 hour InfoWars 2015 money bomb. We're trying to reach 400 million people. We need a million dollar contribution from our listeners, people who have stood by us for the years in order to get to this next level of satellite broadcasting. If you can help us, Please do at 888-253-3139. That's 888-253-3139. We also in this hour have a special. It is 20% off of ProPure water filters. That is only for this hour, 8 o'clock. And we have free shipping on everything at the InfoWars store. We have 20% discounts off of, and I've got it right here. We have 20% discounts off of Survival Shield X2, Super Male Vitality, Brain Force, Silver Bullet. We have 15% discounts off of Deep Cleanse, Secret 12, Oxy Powder. We have 20% off of ProPure uh, water filters for this hour, and we have free shipping. If you can support us, please do. Let's go back to Donald Trump's answer. In fact, today on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, they fired another 25 or 30,000 people saying we still haven't recovered from the catastrophe. When Carly says the revenues went up, that's because she bought Compaq. It was a terrible deal, and it really led to the destruction of the company. Now, one other company before that was Lucent. Carly was at Lucent before that, and Lucent turned out to be a catastrophe also. So I only say this, she can't run any of my companies, that I can tell you. <laughs> Ms. Fiorina, I want to give you a response. Bankruptcy like six or seven times yeah, on his company. But right, and she is ab absolutely a living example of the Peter <laughs> Principle. That's the idea that you get elevated <laughs> to your level of incompetence. <laughs> and she reached that <laughs> long ago. She has run for Senate. She's lost Senate. She drove Hewlett Packard into the ground. And now she wants to run for president. And hopefully that will be just as unsuccessful as her last several ventures because she
She is someone who was an advisor to General Michael Hayden on the NSA and how he could do it to the public. He brought her in as a special advisor of how they would sell this or hide it from the American public. She is somebody who has deep ties to the dark side of America. And that's what's more important than her competence at Hewlett Packard, far more important. Mr. Trump, I made over ten billion dollars. I had a casino company, Caesar's, dollars. just filed for bankruptcy. Um, Chris will tell you, it's not Chris's fault either. With laser beams on their head. Everybody in Atlantic City is either in trouble or filed for. Maybe I'll blame Chris. Well, I, but but Mr. Atlantic Mr. City Mr. Trump is also, a disaster. Wait a minute, Carly. Wait, I let you speak. Okay, now they're on their personal resumes, and that's fine. Let's take a quick break, uh, and we're going to uh, be right back in a, in a few minutes while they hash out their various positions on their resumes. Again, if you can help us with the money bomb, that number is 888-253-3139. We're trying to raise a million dollars to reach 400 million people. Can you help us do that? We'll be right back. Did you know that only six corporations control 90% of what millions of Americans see, hear, and read every single day? It's the illusion of choice. Think about it. The mainstream media is owned by only a handful of mega corporations with vested interests. But on the other hand, the internet is an interconnected network of billions of sources. So you can research information for yourself from multiple sources, or you can blindly accept what you hear or read in the mainstream media, never questioning what you are being told. This gives you a false sense of reality. I mean, do you actually know what you think you know? Or have you been programmed to accept someone else's version of events? Think about it. This is Darren McBreen, and I want you to break the matrix at Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv and listen to The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on your mind. Toxic-free body is the foundation of true health. Introducing Deep Cleanse by InfoWarsLife.com, a scientifically formulated blend of nanocolloidal zeolites and organic ingredients that aid the body in cleansing chemicals and toxic metals. Using our proprietary multi-step extraction technology, Deep Cleanse is our most affordable all-in-one cleanser. With concentrated organic compounds like cilantro, milk thistle, fulvic acid, orange peel, zeolites, and others, Deep Cleanse doesn't hold back. Instead of buying five, six, or even seven different cleansing products. We use decades-old scientific research to put together the Rolls-Royce of all-in-one cleansing. Look, there's a reason Deep Cleanse is the only product on the market that uses our proprietary Spigerex herbal processing technique. We use only the highest quality organic herbs backed by serious research, and we still bring it to you at the best price out there. If you wish to find Deep Cleanse and experience the all-in-one cleansing, visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. Visit InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Did you know that only six corporations control 90% of what millions of Americans see, hear, and read every single day? 
It's the illusion of choice. Think about it. The mainstream media is owned by only a handful of mega corporations with vested interests. But on the other hand, the internet is an interconnected network of billions of sources. So you can research information for yourself from multiple sources, or you can blindly accept what you hear or read in the mainstream. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts.